Getting your TV to become monitor like this can be super cool for work or video bench on YouTube. Today, I'm about to show you how to screen mirroring from this MacBook to Samsung TV, Google TV, and non-smart TVs. Yes, you don't hear it wrong. Stick around because this guy will get things done in just a snap. Before getting started, make sure you have given a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks. Let's get to the Samsung TV. First thing first, we're gonna make sure that our Samsung TV model supports AirPlay. Here's a list of compatible devices with the AirPlay function. Coming to our TV, of course, we will have to make sure that this Samsung TV is on the same network with the MacBook. Get to the home screen, then leftward to see the setting menu. Moving up and heading to network setting. Here, we're gonna set up the right network for our TV. Besides, keep in mind that if you choose a closer network, the bandwidth signal will be stronger and it helps a lot when the AirPlay connection is paired. Alright, when the network setup is done, let's go back to all settings menu and head to General, Apple AirPlay settings. In this interface, all we need to pay attention to are the status toggle and the required code option. In this settings, you can choose the one option that you think is the most secure. I will randomly pick this one. Then of course, we will need to make sure the AirPlay status is on. And let's get onto our MacBook. Alright, the first thing to check on this device is the Wi-Fi connection from this menu bar. Once checked, move to control panel, and we're gonna hit this screen mirroring. Then, on the TV screen, based on the option you set for the required code, a 4-digit code will appear. All you gotta do is put the code into your MacBook, then the process is done. The next tutorial is on Google TVs in general. Here, I will use Sony Private TV for demonstration. First, we're gonna check the Wi-Fi connection by directly hitting the gear button on the TV remote. Move to the network section, then press OK to get straight into the setup. Or, you can navigate this through the TV setting by moving leftward on the top bar, and tap on the gear icon for setting. In this interface, we get to network and internet then pick the same Wi-Fi connection with your MacBook. Then, we're gonna get into the AirPlay setting. You can navigate the shortcut on your remote by hitting the sort button. Then, on the input menu bar, AirPlay will be displayed as a channel option. If you don't see it, just hit edit and check on the AirPlay. It will automatically display whenever this menu bar pops up. Besides, you can find this AirPlay setup in the TV setting. This walkthrough could be used to case for many smart TVs running Google OS out there. We're gonna go to System, and Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Alright, when getting into this, we will need to check its status. Make sure the toggle is on and the required code. Okay, let's get onto the MacBook. Here, let's have a look through the Wi-Fi setting. Yup, it's the right one. Then, head to control panel, then hit screen mirroring. Here, we're gonna find our TV from the list. If you got everything checked properly like my guy previously, I guarantee your TV will be here. After choosing it, we will insert the pin code from the TV screen. And we are set. In this case, I walk through the guys on non-smart TVs. Because it doesn't have operation system, just purely the channel input on there. So, all we gotta do is plug a streaming device into this TV via the HDMI port. Just make sure that your streaming device supports AirPlay 2, Apple TV Box or Roku Player is a common use case. So, with just my handy Roku Express, we're totally good to go. The rule thumb to AirPlay on non-smart TV is, after having connected to either Roku Player or Apple TV Box, we gotta change the TV source. Then choose the input of HDMI 1. That was where I put my Roku Express. Wait for the switching. Then, first thing first, let's check that your version is Roku OS 10 or above. Let's have a check by going to the settings, system, and then about. Then, we're gonna set up a network to the right one. In settings, go to network and here, make sure whether is it the same one with your MacBook or not. If not, let's head to Setup Connection. 
pick up the connect to the right one. Then we're gonna set up the AirPlay on this. Again, go to settings, and Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Get into it. Since you have watched the entire video up to this point, this setting interface right here is no longer strange, isn't it? So once again, let's have a look through. The status is on. The required code is as you want it. Next, on your MacBook, let's check your Wi-Fi connection. It's crucial to make sure both devices are on the same network. Then, head over to the control panel, click on the screen mirroring and choose your local player. If, if this was the first time you pair two devices, or you set the required code for every time, then we gotta insert the pin code from the TV on our MacBook. After that, our process is done. That's our guide. Besides, if you've got any trouble when screen mirroring from your iPhone to smart TVs, you might want to check out this video right here. Again, thanks for tuning in and catch you in the next video.